they, they were living in very troubled times, and, and it takes all of us to respond uh, in a positive way. And, and so as a faith leader, I want people to know that for the church, it's not an uh, insular thing. It's not a spirituality. It's about social justice. It's about life. And so by being present and part of that, and often helping to organize, um, it, it says that it's, it's, it's faith communities are highly engaged, hopefully, always, in, in the common good, the well-being of every person. And as a faith leader, we're taught, uh, where, where do you go when there's trouble? You go right to the heart of it. Uh, if one suffers, we all suffer together. If one rejoices, or if it's honored, we all rejoice together. We have, we have 12 million people in this country today afraid of their future because they're not documented. A million dreamers afraid. Um, we have people in prison by an unjust system that, that is um, uh, you know, aimed at black males in particular in this country. We have to overcome that and change that. We have people who are sick who need health care. And so health care for all. So that's not a church-based thing. That's a community-based. It's a societal-based piece. And so as a pastor, I have to be out there. Uh, go to our church constitution. The fourth task I'm supposed to do as a pastor, besides preaching the word, serving the sacraments, and, you know, baptizing, is to be out speaking publicly on behalf of the most vulnerable in our society. That's part of my call. I don't want to come out of this era uh, of life and say, where was the church? I want us to be very present, not just the pastor, but the members. So we have six-year-olds who march for peace, eight-year-olds who are down at ICE helping to demonstrate. Um, it's, it's a collective effort. A and as a faith leader, you always want your creed to match, your deeds to match your creed, your walk to match your talk. So if I'm preaching about welcoming the stranger on Sunday, we should be out there doing that all week long. So on Monday, we should be out there working for fair immigration laws uh, to make sure people are not living in fear 